your Chris 6 weather forecast. A lot of these fires continue to go on across the state because it continues to be very dry and it continues uh, to have a high pressure right on top of us and that promotes a lot of sinking air and dry conditions. So again, use caution folks as uh, we still have high fire danger here in the coastal bend as well. So we did top off at 95 degrees yesterday, one degree above seasonal average, actually a pretty normal for this time of year, but thankfully staying away from the record. But as always, want to show you our growing deficit continuing to grow now at 8 8.75 inches below normal for this time of year, and I hate to say it, but as far as rainfall chances are concerned, it's just not looking great for us here. We are at 76 degrees right now. South southeasterly winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour, and you can see it pretty quiet along uh, downtown Corpus Christi this morning with temperatures mainly into the middle to upper 70s for a good portion of our inland communities and holding on to the lower 80s out near the coastal areas. Even our seawater temperature near Bob Hall Pier is still holding on to the middle to upper 80s as well. So as we look at the hour by hour forecast for today, again, uh, we're still expecting lots of sunshine for us here. Notice already 89 degrees as we head towards midday and uh, we'll be looking to top off in the middle to upper 90s and notice how those winds are going to be picking up as well. I think today is going to be one of the windier days over the coastal bend as we have some disturbances up into the northern parts of the states that's uh, going to pick up the uh, humidity here coming off the Gulf of Mexico, but going as high as 104 in George West as, as well as Freer, Heavenville, Falfurias, 92 in Iran. Aransas Pass, 96 in Sinton, and even into the lower 90s over in Port Aransas as well. Now look at the wind gusts later on this afternoon. These will be hovering around 25 to 35 miles per hour. And uh, the wind is expected to stay with us not only for today, but through the rest of the week as well. So keep that in mind if you have outdoor activities planned. We do have a heat advisory that's been posted for Inland Oasis and Clayburgh County and then all of Jim Wells County until 6 p.m. But fire weather watches and excessive heat warnings are all into the northern parts of the state. And here where we have heat advisories, anywhere between 110 degrees or greater expected. And you can get a easily a heat exhaustion, a heat stroke. It's when we get that excessive heat watch and excessive heat warning that we expect those uh, heat index values to be 115 degrees. So plenty of heat to go around and we're going to get pretty close to that later on this afternoon for some of our inland communities, but not only for today, but going on into tomorrow as well. As we were talking about fires with the extra wind and the dry conditions, we have moderate to high fire danger today. And that's going to go up to high to very high for Wednesday and on into Thursday. So just continue to be mindful uh, with all the dry conditions that we have. Bays will be choppy today. Seas three to six feet. The rip current risk is low, so just use caution. Several high tides for Bob Hall Pier, Port Aransas Jetty, 423 at Nueces Bay, and then 124 at the Packery Channel. But this morning, everything is quiet out there. Again, as I mentioned, we have frontal boundaries and disturbances up to the north, but we continue to have this dome of high pressure in place. It's not going anywhere anytime soon, and we see it here on the seven day forecast as sweltering heat and dangerous heat index values continue to dominate through the rest of the week with highs into the middle to upper 90s with no chances of rainfall.